this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. I guess we're watching the train wreck that is Kanye West. He's trending again for doing something that is disparaging to black people. He and his sidekick, Candace Owens, another irrelevant puppet of the Republican Party, they were at Fashion Week in Paris and they decided to shock the world by wearing these t-shirts, White Lives Matter. Well, here's a piece of breaking news. White lives have always mattered, especially in the United States. Black people have suffered and died over white lives mattering. We could go on for days of tragedies that have happened to black people over white lives mattering. Emmett Till to start, the Scottsboro Boys, Black Wall Street, and any number of black men who have been dragged out of rivers killed over some small infraction because white lives mattered. The only thing these two are proving is that they'll do anything to get attention and to gain white validation. Both of them are or have been married to white people and have born children with them. So we know white lives matter to them. The rest of us don't need that lesson. Candace Owens is a soul in search of a purpose. She is a non-starter where black Americans are concerned. So I'm going to send her to the back of the bus and focus on Kanye West. Kanye West has been on the music scene since about 2004. Like most of them, he came up on the backs of black people. At the beginning, he seemed normal and regular and people liked him. But somewhere along the way, something happened and he turned into the curiosity that he has become. Many blame this transformation on the passing of his mother, Donda, in 2007 at the age of 58. It was unexpected and it was shocking. And it is always shocking when a parent passes, even if the parent is old and has been sick for a long time. But this was shocking to his system. And, and, and it was said that he was grieving over his mother. And I believe that is true. I believe that a lot of that is true. His mother has been dead for about 15 years. So what has evolved from maybe his grief and his anger and his own demons is this person who seems to be floundering and not really knowing which side of the fence he really wants to be on. In 2005, we had Hurricane Katrina and there was a concert. Hurricane Relief is what they were calling it. Kanye West, unprovoked, got up on the screen and said, President George Bush, President Bush was the president at the time. George Bush is a racist and he doesn't care about black people. That was totally out of order. I don't really believe that that was what black people wanted. I think that was kind of a, a cringeworthy moment for most black people. But what it looked like was that he was advocating for black people. Then in 2009, during the MTV Video Awards, Taylor Swift won for Video of the Year. Kanye West storms the stage, snatches the microphone from her as she's giving her speech and starts ranting about Beyonce should have won the award for Single Ladies. But again, it looked like he was advocating for a black woman. But between 2009 and 2016, we saw a big change in Kanye West. First, we had this in 2014, marriage to Kim Kardashian. And then we had this, love and affection for President Donald Trump, someone that most black people viewed very suspiciously and suspiciously as a person who did not care for black people, the real person who didn't care for black people. So he divested from black women and married this non-black woman, Kim Kardashian, who rose to fame through a widely distributed porn tape with Ray J. Norwood, Brandy Norwood's brother. So he went from criticizing President George Bush for being a racist and not caring about black people to this. This is a classic Anka Tom move, a move of submission and surrender. So what happened to Mr. Outspoken, to Mr. I'm going to get on television and trash the President of the United States, 
to Mr. I'm going to go up on the stage and take this trophy away from this white woman because she didn't deserve it. So I'm going to embarrass her in front of the country, maybe even the world, because I'm big and bad and bold enough to do it. But I'm asking the question, what happened to Mr. Bold, to Mr. I'm standing here advocating for black people, even though black people haven't asked me to do this? What happened? Well, this is what I think happened. I think somebody high up in the United States intelligence, the FBI, the CIA, or some other intelligence organization, paid him a visit and told him, look a here, Negro, you're going out in the public embarrassing us, meaning white people. And I mean embarrassing the president and the country music star. That's America's darlings. And I think they told him, it's a price you're going to pay for this freedom of speech that you're exercising. Now keep it up and see what happens. I think they put the fear of God in him and he realized, I need to change tactics. So in my southern way of looking at it, I say white people put him in his place so he turned on black people. That's what I say. The thing I see in him is the desire to shock. He wants to shock everybody with the things that he says and the things that he does. And he wants it to make it seem like it's ultra progressive when in reality he's just resorting to the Ankatan playbook. The safe target in America is black people. You can always go after black people. You can make it seem like you care about black people. You can make it seem like you're making some big statement about black people. But the easy target in the United States of America for everybody is black people. He knows that. He knows that the first thing that other black people will say when somebody calls him out is, well, he got this much money. Well, he has this many Instagram followers. And the worst of all, he's a musical genius. But we see what happens when he goes after white people. Last summer, he calls himself Barry and Pete Davidson because he was dating Kim. And then he was talking smutty about Kim. Even though he was married to her, he was saying awful things about her and her mother. And they kicked him off social media platforms and threatened not to let him get back on. So they take action. Because they're not going to tolerate somebody degrading them just because they have a super ego. So there are a few things that I have observed about Kanye West. And they seem to be central to who he is. Number one, he is a shameless self-promoter. Running around here calling himself a musical genius. And number two, he likes to shock the public with things that he, I believe he thinks they are very intellectual, but to me it seems like something he pulled out of his behind. And number three, he wants to be a cultural icon to speak to the culture with all of this knowledge that he has. And in order for him to get these messages across, he has to have a public platform and somebody has to listen to him. He cannot go after white people, so he goes after black people. So for this fashion show, he came up with this White Lives Matter. Now he knew that was provocative. And for people who are trying to excuse him by saying that he was bringing attention to the fact that the Black Lives Matter movement was a scam, well, word has gotten around. We are aware of what the founders of Black Lives Matter have been up to. Furthermore, if he was going to use a t-shirt to bring attention to the fact that the Black Lives Matter movement is a scam, then that's what the t-shirt should have said. The t-shirt should have said, Black Lives Matter is a scam. But no, he's going to take something that symbolizes a lot of hurt and heartache in the black community and make a mockery of it. Because even though the Black Lives Matter movement might be a scam, the sentiment is real. Black people all over this country are concerned about black lives. Not just black lives that are taken by the police, but black lives that are taken in these communities, black on black crime, black lives that are taken when black people give up and don't want to live anymore. We're concerned about all black lives. By putting White Lives Matter on the back of a t-shirt, Kanye West illuminated black pain and put a white face to it. And that to me is unconscionable. Some of us get it and some don't. 
but the ones who get it should be outraged because he is not only making a mockery of black people, but he's taking the suffering and giving it to the very people that have been the cause of so much of the pain. I'm not one of these people who cries victim. I'm not one of these people who cries white supremacy all the time, but I do have respect for the history. Some people might say, well, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. It is that deep. The reason black people get no respect is that we are able to brush off things, especially if it's attached to a celebrity. The reason nobody messes with Jewish people is because they don't take anything about their history lightly. You go for them, they'll come for you. The reason that nobody messes with white people is because they don't take things lightly. You go for them, they'll come for you. But then we let things go. Well, it's not that serious. Are you making too big of a deal out of it? That's the face of disrespect. People don't respect you because they know you're not going to do anything. So Tucker Carlson, a right-wing conservative and commentator on Fox News, brought him on his show because Kanye did the White Lives Matter publicity stunt. Tucker wanted to get him on his show to squeeze as much out of that as he could and to bring attention to his show. I watched part of it, but it was starting to make me sick, so I read a summary of it that was written in the newspaper and I read the Twitter posts. It was pretty much as you would expect. He tried to divert the attention away from the fact that he had insulted black Americans and make it into something else. Here's one of the tweets. My so-called friends slash handlers around me told me if I said that I liked Trump, that my career would be over, that my life would be over. Well, that goes to show that black people don't have standards when it comes to being respected. And I go back to the Jewish people. If a Jewish entertainer would take something tragic and painful like the Holocaust and try to make the Nazis the victims of the Holocaust, Jewish people would have a hissy fit and that person would pay a price for that. When Tucker Carlson asked him about wearing the White Lives Matter t-shirt to Paris Fashion Week, Kanye West said, I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought that the idea of me wearing it was funny. I'm going to say that this response is open to interpretation because in my opinion, no conscientious black man who cared about the black community or black people would make a statement like that. So Kanye West went on and on with Tucker Carson in this conversation talking about his father was a former member of the Black Panther Party and he thought it was fun to see Kanye West, a black man, stating the obvious. So he's going to keep bringing this whole idea about him being black. I guess he thinks that everybody has forgotten that he approached a white actor about playing him when the movie about him comes out. I guess he thinks everybody forgot that. He went on with a lot of this mumble jumble stuff, talking about this and about black people and that about black people, blaming Lizzo for the problems in the black community, just gaslighting black people and doing anything to keep the focus off the fact that he insulted black people with the White Lives Matter t-shirt. And the way he insulted black people is that he took the pain and suffering of black people that black people were trying to illustrate through Black Lives Matter and he put the pain and suffering on white people. These are things that this man should not be able to get away with. There should be a way to leverage what people like this man do. And interestingly enough, one man did say something about it and I was really, really proud to see this. This is a rapper and his name is Lil Boozy. And so Lil Boozy had something to say about it. He said the D word. Kanye West, you just keep using your platform to SHIT on your own race like this is sad. And the black people who still support you are even sadder. Last time speaking on this, do us a favor and bleach your skin all white. Thanks. And somebody helpfully posted this picture of him as a white man. I don't believe Kanye West is crazy. I think he loves to shock and I think he loves to be provocative. But the bottom line is, white people put him in his place, so he turned on black people. 
black people are the only people that he can do these kinds of antics and get away with them. Okay, thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.